Hello, I'm Freddy Lopez. I'm going to show you today how to bound, bond a transformer. First of all, I look at the transformer plate, which I took off the transformer, which is right behind me. That's a transformer. I took the plate off of it. And before I took the plate, I read the print. The print is usually on the top of the plate, which you can see right here. We're going to bond X hole. We're going to bond X hole. That's our goal. We're going to, it's on the number three tab. You read the tabs. These are the tabs highest to the lowest, we're going to go to the number 3 tab, which is 480. But for our purpose, we're just going to go to the bonding of a transformer. But those are the prints, the wiring diagram, rather I should say, for a transformer. First thing we want to do is go to uh, install a ground rod. The ground rod is an, it's an intentionally grounded rod, which is about 8 feet long, or it could be longer, depending on what the code says. Sometimes the code says 10 feet, depending where you are. And sometimes you have to put it at a 45 degree angle. It depends what the code says. Next thing we're going to do is going to take a number six wire. The code says you can put a number six or a number four stranded, the smallest wire you can put on here. Usually everybody goes with number six, which is the best for ampacity. So the next thing we want to do is we put a, a lug on, on, the, on the number six wire. Now, you don't have to do it with a lug. Uh, you can also uh, put a grounding, uh, a, a terminal lug on, on, the, on the X hole itself. And this is X hole right here. Some of it has a difference. Sometimes X hole is up here somewhere. X hole is up here somewhere. But for our, for this transformer, the X hole is right down here. Now the X hole is what carries the unbalanced load, and it carries the unbalanced load from the neutral, which comes from the tran from the transformer, from the panel itself, which is which is a panel, and it's up here. That's the main. So then. It takes the neutral, which is the unbalanced load, the unbalanced current, which is like 70% of the current most of the time, and it takes it to back to the ground lug from the number six wire right here. And normally you ground it to the X hole, but for our purposes, the X hole is already grounded to the panel itself, which you'll see right there. It's uh, grounded there. We're going to put everything there on lugs. We're going to put all our wires right there on that lug uh, in lugs. And that's how you bond a transformer. So basically, recap is we drive a ground rod in to the ground, to the earth, and it's intentionally grounded, which is called a neutral. You take that ground wire and you bring it inside the transformer from the bottom side right here. Or you can sometimes, some people like to cook, drill a hole on the side and bring it in that way. It depends how you want to bring it in. It's your choice. You're the electrician or you're the person doing it. Um, you put a lug or any type of lug that you wish depending on how you want to ground it, the, the XO. And here's the XO for this, per, for this transformer, XO's here, and there's the neutral wire. The neutral wire goes from XO to the panel. And what it does, it carries the unbalanced load back to XO, and XO carries it back to the ground rod, to the earth. And the other thing you need to know, you need to ground every single thing in the transformer. You need to bond, what they call bonding. So we ground everything, or bond it. It's really bonding. Okay, and these are your terminal taps. Tap one, tap two, tap three, as we talked earlier. Tap three is 480. 530 or 506, and second tap is like 590 or something like that. Uh, second tap is like 590 or something like that. And then the third tap is uh, usually 480. We want to go to 480, and it goes down. The voltage just drop down as you go down. So it, it goes all the way. This trans particular transformer, it goes to uh, tap four. 433. Seven tap is four. 433. I don't know if you can see that, but the main purpose here is to ground X hole and X hole to the ground rod. So the first thing you do is you bring in all the wires and all your ground rods go straight to to X hole and from X hole you bring it straight to the ground rod, which is only one wire, number six or number eight if stranded. It's the smallest wire you can have is a number eight if stranded. Uh, okay, take care. I hope you enjoyed the video.